This is Other Man Gomp, the world's top cop with Kingdom Insight. Recently, we have seen and heard of the BET Awards being displayed on TV all over the world. The gifts and the talents of these artists, their raps, their lyrics, the music, their dance performance, the partying before and after the BET Awards, and their walk across the red carpet displayed who they are and their names, young and old, all at the BET Awards. There were Christians, there were transgenders, there were just people, human beings, all gathered in one place, atheists, non-believers of God and Christ, all present and enjoy the music and the entertainment that was presented to us at the BET Awards. But did you not know that was not told, neither spoken of at all, that while these celebrities and individuals was at the, in the BET Awards, that their homes were being burglarized right before our eyes and none of them knew it neither did you you didn't hear it you didn't see it but as your world's top cop I investigated these home burglaries and I'm going to give you the conclusion of what I've gathered and it is in the holy text that we would get an understanding of what we saw, the time frame from the celebrities going to the BET Awards and after the BET Awards, when they went back to their place of residencies and saw that their homes were burglarized. In the Holy Scripture, it relates to us what happened in the meeting of what took place at the BET Awards and after the BET Awards and even before the celebrities and entertainers walked the red carpet and entered into the place where the BET Awards was being displayed for the world to see. In the Holy Scripture of the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter and the 43rd verse I want you all to pay attention and listen as I read to you as it relates to the BET Awards and these home burglaries. And it reads from the 43rd verse, But now this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Verse 44, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Now let's back this on up, rewind this to the 37th verse. And it says this, but as the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Now, the celebrities' homes, you immediately thought I was talking about their physical homes that was built by the hands of man. But I'm talking about the physical body is your home. The celebrities at the BET Awards, their personal homes were their own makeup of their body, their genetics, the creation that was given to them, created 
by God, God gave each and every one of us a physical home and that is our bodies. And God has given us the power to have our physical homes maintained or destroyed by our own choices that we make in life. When I served as a police officer and took reports and investigated home burglaries, some homes were immaculate, worth millions of dollars, and then there were some that was worth thousands of dollars. And then I investigated rental homes that were rented out in the hood or not in the hood and to your surprising i want you to i want you to know this that even in these immaculate homes on the outside on the inside was full of turmoil trashed out of place furniture and items within homes, clothes all over the place. But then in some homes within the hood, the furniture and merchandise within the home was not expensive, but the homes were clean, neat. And you would not think that it would have been so because of the area that they lived in. So, on the outside or in the inside, it is my responsibility and your responsibility to me to make sure that your home, your body physically and within your eternal spirit and your body is maintained and in order with something that has to maintain it within the mind, within the heart. And that is none other than what we understand to be what the scripture is saying, the Son of Man. The Son of Man is Jesus the Christ. Can you imagine your home with broken windows? No front door to lock or unlock that anyone can see into your home because of the broken windows and no front door, no side door, no back door to protect the inside of your home. And if the wrong person walks by or sees your home broken, the criminal who burglarizes homes will make no other option but to ensure that they go inside your home to take whatever is within the home. And the most important things that burglars do, they take the high items that is within homes for their own particular use or to sell it. And when the homeowner will come home, what will they always see? They home in disarray things taken from within the home and the key elements that gives off a lurky empty feeling when a homeowner knows that their home has been burglarized is when they see either the window broken or the door broken or cracked open it will take you to a whole nother level that you would not want to be in because I know it happened to me one time. And to go in to see that all that you worked for was taken. Floyd Mayweather can testify to the fact. Do you remember just recently his home was burglarized? And what I'm telling you all as of right now, that when Jesus Christ is not 
within your home. Your home is burglarized. And there is a criminal that I already know who has burglarized every individual's home that was at the BET Awards and in your personal home, in your personal life, if Jesus Christ is not within you. And that burglar, that criminal is the devil and we seen it at the BET Awards displayed before the whole world starting with little Nas. X, gifted young man, all the money that he wants and has, dresses the way he dresses, some say let him do what he does, but the, his followers are by the millions of young children that look up to little Nas X and they look up to a individual whose home has been burglarized and criminalized and he accepts it. How do I know it? Because he's broken on the inside. On the outside, little Nas X is on top of the world, but he displays his life and him and what he does with his personal life on TV by kissing another man dressing the way he dresses with a dress on that represents and indicates it should be worn by a woman him being a man and dressed as a woman kisses a man and lives this kind of lifestyle when he is yet born as a male child a man changes his appearance lets me know that he has been burglarized and he doesn't even know it And all I am doing as your servant, as your world's top comp, I am an active duty world's top comp of a world who no longer wears the physical uniform but have always worn the spiritual uniform and my chief is above all police chiefs who have ever lived in the earth and my police chief who I serve and work for 24 7 of the day is Jesus Christ and he has given me the ability to investigate and to bring the solutions that is criminalizing and is destroying humanity as we yet see it before our eyes. And I come to you to tell you that if you live in a manner that is opposite of what you were created to be and the home that you have been given to house and protect, as the scripture says, if you would have known the thief was coming, you would have been home to prepare and be ready to defend your home. But you don't see who is attacking you because it is in the unseen world. The devil comes from the unseen world and you have to see him in the spirit that God has given you the ability to see, but you can see that you are burglarized because internally you are burglarized and you have been taken from your source of Power, and that comes from Jesus Christ. Oh yes. And so I come to loose you, to give you back the greatest possession that you could never pay for that was taken from you, that you've allowed it to be taken from you because now you can tell things has been taken from you. I'm speaking to you, sister. I'm speaking to you, brother, that you're internally broken and things within you has been stripped from you. And the most important thing that you have that was taken from you is what has been given you life and that is the spirit of Christ. 
and it is by mercy and grace such as the days of Noah that even while at the BET Awards and many of you all this past Friday and Saturday and here we are on Sunday have gone day by day and in your nights you party, you marry, you have success, you are on your way to success, you want to live a life of luxury, you want to live a life of success in love for yourself and what you want to accomplish you are striving to become better but still if Christ is not in you you are still a victim in need of your possession to make everything within you come together within your life and that is Jesus Christ Noah Do you remember that story? Was perfect in his generation. How was he perfect? Why did the scripture mention Noah? Noah found grace in the eyes of God because he walked with God when the whole entire world, even as today, is in chaos. Corruption is all over the world. Violence, as the scripture says, is all over the world. And I tell you, my brother, my sister, that the only way that order can come back, the only way that there can be no violence and you not being a victim of the corruption and violence that we see from the White House, from every law enforcement, the corruption within the leaderships of law enforcement all over America, all over the world, the corruption that I've seen within the Houston Police Department and how they forced me out because of justice that I stood up for and gathered and subscribed things against me in the midst of all that I've done in the name of honor and protection and the oath to serve with the highest level of integrity that I did, officer of the year, served with my life and would have died many a times, but because of the one that has the keys of my eternal soul, shielded me and guided me even through the pain of what I had to endure in the corruption of law enforcement. There is a God who is of justice and when he comes in, he is coming to bring justice for once and for all. He's not coming for those who are not ready. If you are not ready when Jesus comes, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in these days, as corruption and violence is all over. Police brutality and those who commit such evil and wickedness behind that badge and dishonor the badge with corruption and evil. He is coming back to bring judgment and no peace. And while you yet live, as I yet investigated and in investigating your home, your body and your spirit, I present to you the key that can unlock the handcuffs of sin and wickedness, hurts and pains in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
you can be loosed from your troubles. You can be loosed from your addictions. You can be loosed from your mind that is yet troubled and has no peace. You can be loosed from your white supremacy. You can be loosed from your hatred. You can be loosed, police officers who are not serving and protecting with justice. You can be loosed. And that is your surrender and your submission and your obedience to the one who has given you life. And that is in the name of Jesus Christ. Over out.